Bruh. Let's see. So, this was my first KCON that I went to in New York, and it was it was fucking awesome. It was fucking awesome. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. So, get up 5 a.m. in the morning to head up to the con, and it wasn't too bad of a drive, three hours, no traffic. So then I get there around like 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and I park in the Prudential Center parking lot, and I'm pulling in, and I'm like, all right, so how much is this going to be? Expecting it to be like, you know, $20.00. Maybe 25 at most for all day. Wrong. Fucking wrong. Wrong. She said that shit was 40 fucking dollars. I said, bitch, no way. Luckily, they had a special going on where it was event parking. And if you got in before 11 o'clock and you got your car out by 5 you um, only had to pay $7. So I said, bitch, I'm going to do that. I may not have said as much bitch. Just whatever. Now, the convention was outside. And I've never been I've never been to this convention ever. So I was like, okay, so where is registration? Where is you get your free bag? Where is this event and that event? I didn't know because everything is spaced out in a different parking lot. So I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know what's going on. But I managed to find the ticket booth. I got my ticket all nice and all great and whatnot. So then I'm thinking, I'm already in the convention now because, you know, there's booths and whatnot set up. I wasn't in the convention yet. The convention, actually, there was a long line that wrapped around half a block that I had to jump in, and it actually had not open yet. Once they opened the door, everything went by really quick. So I got in there. Um, it was basically just like a parking lot of different things. But it was pretty cool. They had panels that you could go see. They had um, free food you can try. Oh my gosh, that was the best. Free fucking samples of food. And then if you try to buy it, they're like, no, no, we're not, we're not selling this. You just, you just get the sample and you could come back for as many samples as you wanted. It was like fucking Costco. I, I ate the shit out of those samples. I went to JRE. If you know him, he's a popular YouTuber that does reaction videos to K-pop songs. And he's, he's fucking hilarious to me. So I was just, I was just so thrilled to uh, see his panel. It was fun. They were just telling stories and answering questions. It was it was pretty cool. And then, like, you'd just be amazed at all the dancing. Like, everybody's dancing. There's someone covering this song, someone covering that song, dancing this, dancing that choreo. It's just like a whole bunch of dancing. In fact, that is like, it seems like the main theme of KCON. Dance your ass off and listen to music. After walking around and looking at all the people dancing and stuff, I had to do the paint tonight, even though it was the middle of the day. I did paint night, which let me let me let me show you. Let me show you, let me show you how I get down. See that? See that shit? See that shit? You see that shit? Bam! Now, I didn't make the template. They made the template for you. But I painted that shit. I painted that shit, son. This is JRE. I'm telling you, this dude is hilarious. He's awesome to me. I'm sorry. Check, Put in JRE in your YouTube and check out his videos. They're funny. No plug, or he's not paying me because he probably doesn't know me. 
I asked him a question during his panel, which I'll, which was later, which was actually on Saturday, but he doesn't know who the hell I am. It was, it was fun to be in the culture, but at the same time, it really, I feel like they didn't have that much to really do. There were a couple of panels. The panels were like an hour long. Well, the convention was only open for like 11 to 5. So it wasn't it wasn't that much to do, but it was just a lot to, it was just good to be in the atmosphere. Um, there were different panels. You could do dance workshops where you could learn some of these choreographies to the songs that people were randomly walking around dancing to. But um, that's basically it. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't too much to do, but it was a lot um, of Korean culture that you can take in and experience. And that was good. It was good to be in the atmosphere, um, seeing the culture, and seeing people be excited and dancing around and just having fun. Everybody was relaxed. Um, even the guests, the guests were really awesome. It was, it was good. So the convention, it was okay. Um, Well, I say it's my favorite convention. Currently, no, but they're still young. I feel like it's still a young convention, and they're getting stuff together. Oh, they did have um, different performers, like before before even the concert started. They had like a convention stage where they had um, a dance battle. They had agio contests. They had. Um, different musical acts like Coco Avenue, who are I never heard of, but they're disbanding anyway, which sucks because I really actually enjoyed them. So yeah, that was that. But it was, it was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And for, I mean, for 20 bucks, it was, it was a great cultural experience. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. What I truly came for. That motherfucking M Countdown concert. Was I going to be on TV in Korea? No, because my seats were way in the back. They, they didn't get me on okay. camera. But, shit was awesome. It was so freaking awesome. So the first day, on Friday, they had KNK, SF9, G-Friend, Zion T, and Highlight. We did special performances. Um, we did a Beauty and the Beast cover, which was pretty. And then um, SF9 did EXO's Call Me Baby. And BTS's uh, Boy in Love. So that was awesome to see. And and I had, I had a really good time, to be honest. It was amazing. Despite me being in the upper row, like the third row, I mean, not the third row, the third floor, you could literally see everything, the whole stage. It didn't look like, you know, you, you like tiny specks that you had to like, you know, squint your eyes to see. I could actually get a good view of all the members and stuff. So it was a nice seat. But anyway, so that was Friday night. It's Friday's concert was awesome but Saturday that Saturday concert that Saturday concert see my thing was I was trying to go see twice and when they first opened up the concert and they did um, cover songs from JYP's history I might have fanboyed a little I, I might have I might have fanboyed a little, just a little bit, just just smidgen. So twice performed first, and then after them, 
uh, the group Up Tension, Up Tension came on there, and they're they're okay. I'm I know there's a lot of people that like them, but for me, I'm just like eh, they're all right. And then NCT 127 came out there and lit it up with some fire truck and cherry bomb and yeah. I was I was in that shit. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit, you rocking with the best. You rocking with the best, motherfucker. So they had the place all turned up and lit, so that was fun. And yes, I said turned up and lit, because I can't fuck you. Then my angels came out. And Gia, she's singing that shit. Oh God. I love them. And um, I hope my friend didn't catch me on camera because he was taking pictures and filming too. I hope he did not catch me during that time because I was doing all the dances, the signal dance and the cheer up baby and um the knock 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 on my door Man, yeah whatever i had fun fucking twice i love it and then after twice i'm already high off twice i'm just like yeah and then cm blue's coming on and i'm like well it's cm blue i i like some of cm blue but their songs never struck a chord to me to like last them up to be honest. So I was just like, oh, CM Blue, you know. I've seen the people that I want to see, so I'm I'm greedy. They they it was just like something extra. It was just like, okay, well, more more KCon um, concert, so that's fun. Um, they they turned it out. I'm not gonna lie. Now, CM Blue, for me, is this type of thing. Their songs really don't strike a chord with me, but when you see them live, they are great performers live. They, in fact, they stole the show. They, to be honest, they stole the whole, whole show because they were just so energetic and so entertaining and so cool that it was just like, I, I see why people fall in love with them. They were just amazing. So the the concert was great. I felt like Saturday was really short. Maybe it's because they only had four acts instead of five, but it seemed like it went by like that. So me and my friend Jerry were leaving and we see the crowd standing at the curb um, trying to... Uh, get pictures as the vans leave and stuff with the musical guests. The first vehicle that rolls out, they stop in front of us because there's stop sign. And someone in the vehicle puts on their phone light and it's freaking Geo from Twice. And I think Sana. So it was Geo and Sana, I believe and Daehyun and I squealed I, I squealed I squealed because I was I was so so happy but I didn't catch the squeal on the camera cuz I'm G like that not gonna make me look like no bitch just because I was fanboying and shit so that was great even though it was a little snippet and I couldn't get as close as I wanted to because there were like fangirls and fanboys all in my way. I did catch a little glimpse. So it was good. So that's my little KCON review. It was, will I go again? Yeah, I definitely will. It was great to be in that atmosphere and see all the people and um, see all the dancing and seeing the the acts i wish coco avenue stayed together but they're doing their own thing and that's fun and the m countdown concert was definitely worth it so next time i'm going to pay for the more expensive ticket though because i want to be right up on the stage that'll be fun but i had a good time so this is free 
and thanks for listening. Bye bye. Stay golden. I'm gonna go